The entree I'm going to make today is balsamic buttered penne pasta with roasted asparagus. Now you do need a couple of different ingredients for this entree. So I have for you is one pound of asparagus. I wash this, um, dice it up, roast it, you're good. Um, we do need our penne pasta. You also need a half cup of balsamic vinegar um, and also a tablespoon of light brown sugar and four tablespoons of butter and some Parmesan on top to season. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my asparagus to roast it. So this will take about 15 minutes in the oven. We want to make sure you preheat your oven for about 400 degrees. And we're going to cut off the nasty ends for our asparagus. And just um, slice them down the middle right here. It's actually going to be a lot of asparagus. <laughs> I love the little ends. Those are my favorite. Okay. All right. These are pretty much done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add them into our bowl along with that for roasting. You need extra virgin olive oil or olive oil and you want a teaspoon of that. All right. We'll dump that in there and then we're going to dump our ingredients in the bowl, swish them around. A little messy sometimes. <laughs> okay, swish them around in the bowl right here. You want them to kind of be doused in your olive oil, just like that, to that extent. Great. And then we're going to go ahead and just put them on our cookie sheet. So they're going to be nice and crispy and roasted for our delicious pasta. Yum. All right. Our oven should be preheated, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. All right. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead and start putting our penne pasta in our boiled water. And I did use whole grain penne pasta because I think it's a lot healthier than just regular uh, penne noodles. Whole grain is better. You're going to feel better about yourself about eating this pasta. So, just going to put that in there. Doesn't matter how much water it is, honestly. I don't think so. I don't think it really matters. Um, and then we're just going to swish it around. And usually, what I do with my pasta to see how um, it's going to come out, if it, either it's going to be firm or soft or al dente, which means kind of firm. Um, either way, I'm just going to test it out, so little by little we'll test out and see how good the pasta will be, but it should, it should only take a couple minutes for it to actually be ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my balsamic vinegar and light brown sugar into our saucepan. So you do need um, a taste, teaspoon of light brown sugar. Go ahead and move all this over. I want to go ahead and measure this out. Dark or light brown doesn't really matter. Okay, great. Let's walk on over. Okay. Okay, now I just want to just watch this just for a little bit. Um, this is just going to be our nice kind of glaze for our, this is going to be basically our sauce, but it's going to be kind of like a glazed look onto the pasta. And you know what? This sauce is very nice and light. It's not heavy like Alfredo or any other type of sauce, such as tomato sauce or any other spaghetti sauce because it's really like a thin, thin sauce and it's not creamy, doesn't have a lot of calories to it. So the most caloried in this dish is going to be from your pasta. Just keep that in mind. And you're going to see that this doesn't take us that long at all. It really doesn't. So after we do this, we're going to add 
add our sauce to our penne pasta that will be done and our butter and we should be ready to go and ready to serve. All right, my pasta should be ready and I think it actually is. It looks, now that it's rising to, rising. Now that it's rising to the top and it looks kind of, um, at the ends you can really tell when it's done just because it kind of puffs out a little bit and it's kind of white on the edge. So it's pretty much is done. Awesome. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn this on a little bit of our sauce or to a little higher temperature because we're about to use it. And I have to get my strainer. So we'll take our pasta to the sink and strain it. Be careful because the steam's going to be really hot. Could potentially burn your face, so watch out. Okay. Wonderful. Set this out of the way. Mmm. Awesome. Wonderful. Looks great. So we're just going to let this in the sink and let it cool down just for a little bit. Um, I'm going to stir a little bit of my sauce. And while I'm doing that, I'm just waiting for the asparagus, asparagus to come out. I'm going to go ahead and move our pasta into our serving bowl. Okay, great. Now, I did use the whole box of pasta, and the reason I did that is because we're college students, and I wanted to have pasta for the rest of the week, so I thought that might be beneficial to use the whole box, so I did. <laughs> so it's going to be yummy, delicious dinners for the rest of the week. Awesome. Now, make sure you turn off your oven. Okay, our asparagus is out, and make sure you, okay, I already turned off the oven. Sometimes I do that. Uh, but it should be still warm and hot and everything. It should be fine, perfectly. Um, okay, let's go ahead and take this out. This is our roasted asparagus, yum. This looks good, this looks great. I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute. Um, turn this off. Kind of use a spatula to kind of move it around. Okay. There's our vegetable. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add our vegetables to the pasta over here. Basically, just move it down in there. Roast asparagus smells so good, and it won't give it that rubbery feeling. I don't like it when it's kind of rubbery. I really like it when it's nice and, and crunchy and firm and it tastes, it's just, it tastes really good that way. Okay, great. Now for the finishing touch. With our happy spoon, we're gonna go over here and add our sauce to our pasta. If you can see that. Okay. And this is where you put the butter in. So we're going to add our butter. And then you want to stir it around. The butter will kind of give it to a nice kind of, not necessarily creamy, but kind of thicken up the sauce and then it'll really stick on the uh, penne pasta. Now another note, on another side note, I wanna make sure that you use penne. And the reason is that is because penne is, a, is the type of pasta that can grab hold of the spot, sauce. So instead of using spaghetti, which will like slip and slide everywhere, which I've tried and it's not fun, um, instead having penne or any type of other um, pasta sh that is shaped differently, um, that might have ridges on it, so it can really grab hold of that pasta or that sauce, so that's the really good part. So 
So this is just a really nice, simple dish. It's really easy to make. As you can tell, it was really fast. And you know what? Why don't you make your own? You can add even more vegetables to it besides asparagus if you don't like asparagus. Broccoli would be really good in this. Um, mushrooms, you could kind of make a marsala kind of dish. A little bit of Italian. Now while I'm waiting for the butter to melt a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and get out a serving dish so I can show you exactly what it looks like and then I'm going to garnish it with Parmesan on it for a nice last finishing touch. Okay, we're about ready to serve. Yum, that looks so good and you know what, healthy. It's better than just buttered noodles. All right, and here's our Parmesan. Voila, there's your dinner, and I hope you enjoy.